Hi you guys, so my name is Luz Andrea Emiue, this is my first time doing a voiceover so just bear with me. Today we're going to do an everyday makeup look, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the Suzex Cosmetics Brow Pomade, um, this one's in shade Dark Brown. I already went ahead and did my priming and everything, so I'm just starting on my brows first. Okay, so now that we have our brows on, I'm going to grab a wet beauty blender. This one is from NDB Cosmetics. For the foundation today, I am wearing Boombastic Long Wear Foundation. This foundation is also from NDB Cosmetics. I do have a code with them. I highly suggest ordering samples first because I thought I was a shade 6 or an 8, but I'm actually a 5. This is full coverage. I highly, highly suggest this foundation. It is freaking bomb. Before you came round, my heart would never be before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came round, I was heading for a small disaster. Before you came round, I was ready to calm down. <laughs> Oh my god, did you guys see that full coverage foundation? It is freaking bomb. So the concealer that I'm using today is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one's in shade Fair Warm. Um, I really, really, really love this concealer, especially because it's hydrating. So it really helps the foundation. So the areas that I like to put my concealer is under my eyes, on my chin, on my cupid's bow, on my nose. And then with a wet beauty blender, the same one that we used in the beginning, I'm just going to use that beauty blender to blend out the concealer, um, starting out with my under the eyes and on the chin. Um, any excess concealer that's on my, on my beauty blender, I mean, <laughs> goes on my forehead.
Okay, so now I'm just applying the Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm actually just patting it in. I do not bake no more because I find that if I bake, I'm just going to look ashy and I'm going to have major, major, major flashback when I'm taking pictures. So I'm just putting that on my chin, um, the creases of my smiles, on my cheeks, just setting where I apply that concealer. Okay, so now I'm actually going to curl my lashes. Uh, I'm just going to do this step first before doing my lips. So when it comes to mascara, I really, really don't care what type of mascara I'm wearing. As long as I'm wearing mascara for my um, top lashes, just to blend my fake lashes on later on. So this mascara is actually from Maybelline. I got this on clearance and I was like, okay, I'm just going to use it. Um, just use any mascara that you have. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that we have our mascara on, I don't know why I moved on to the lips, but I guess I did. So the lip liner that I'm wearing today is from Lash Levels. I do have a code with them. This one's in shade 60. Um, for my lips, the way I lined them, I just follow the size of my lips, but I know that I went a little bit over my lips. Um... I wanted like a different shape for the cupid's mo bow, more of like a fuller, like a Brad's doll kind of type of type of lips. Okay, so the lippy that I'm going to be wearing today is from Milani Cosmetics. This one's in shade Covet. This is more of a darker color. It's actually like a brown. Um, I wanted to go with a darker lip today just because the, I just wanted to wear lashes and a dark lip. But a lot of people ask me what type of drugstore do I recommend or suggest. I always recommend Milani Cosmetics because... They have bomb foundations, bomb concealers. I love their lippies. This lippie is actually more of a matte lippy. Um, I love matte lipsticks more. Those are the type of lipsticks that I tend to reach more instead of lip glosses or cream lipsticks. So the lashes that I am going to be wearing today is from Lash Levels Collection. This one's the Church Girl Collection. Um, I'm actually going to be using the most, like, the most natural lashes out of the whole collection. As you guys can see, I'm over here showcasing it. These are the lashes that I'm wearing. They're very subtle and they're actually very long. Um, I was wanting more shorter lashes, but when I started applying these lashes on my eye, I was like, holy crap, these are gorgeous. These are bomb. If you guys would like to see more of detail how to apply lashes or anything like that, like how to do my brows or detail foundation or something like that, just comment down below and I'll try to get those out. But like you, I, as you guys can see, these lashes are freaking gorgeous. Look at them. They're very, very fluffy. Um, I was not expecting these lashes to look like this, but I'm happy with the results.
Okay, so this is just me showing you what it looks like so far. So we have the lashes and lips and foundation done. Now we're going to go in and put some color back into my skin. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Queensland Bronzer. This is a limited edition. Um, the brush that I'm using is an angle brush. These, this is a brush set from Indie Beat Cosmetics. Like I said, most of these companies I do have codes with. Um, I'll leave them down below in the comments area for you guys to check out and see. But I like to go at an angle and start... I do like the little duck face lips. But I start at the side of my cheek. I always do the right side first and then I'll move on to the left side. But I'll do the temples, I'll do the um, bottom of my cheeks. And then here, I'm just actually carving out, um, what is that, my cheekbones? <laughs> but this is the only place that I bake. Um, usually when I bake, it's not going to be for like a very long time. It's probably just going to be like at least 30 seconds or up to a minute. I really don't like baking just because I hate having flashbacks when it when people take pictures of me or when I take pictures of myself. <laughs> Okay, so now the blush that I'm going to go in with is from the Lab Cosmetics. This is in shade A negative. Um, they do sell bundles of their blood blush, blood blush type um, collection. They also do have highlighter collections, but this is just the color that I chose to go in with today. Again, the brush that I'm using today is from Indie Beat Cosmetics. This is one of their fluffy brushes that comes with the set. What I like to do with the blush is just pat it on first. And with that same brush, I'm just going to be blending it um, towards the temple. So now that I'm done blending out the blush, I'm going to go in with the setting spray. This is from Lee's Lenses. This does have some shimmer with the setting spray, but I'm not going to be um, able to show you guys just because the camera won't show it. Um, I like to use my hands. I need to find like a little fan or something for me to use to fan my face um, when I'm using my setting spray. But here is the look. I really hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys want a more detailed routine on lashes, on lips, on contour, or on eyebrows or anything, please just comment down below. I do have social media accounts. Um, I will pin it down in the comments. But here you go. Don't forget to subscribe and like.